Why bother learning hula hoop tricks? What's the point making it so difficult and complicated when all you want is a six pack? Is it not enough to just spin it around our waist? We don't want to learn anything, we had a long day. But hula hooping just around your waist or just around your hands? It's like turning up in the gym and training only biceps and it's biceps day every day. Nobody would do that, right? Wrong, people actually do that. Originally my background is osteopathy and although I can do fun acrobatic stunts with my hula hoops because I did end up running away with the circus eventually but the many different moves and tricks were exactly what captivated my attention because of human physiology and anatomy. So no, I'm not greedy trying to build a huge repertoire of completely different tricks just so that I can show off how many tricks I can do. Also I don't get bored easily so I don't need to do so many different tricks to entertain myself I entertain myself in many many ways don't worry about that but the main reason why I'm excited about all the different tricks is because the human body has got so many different parts and a lot of them we just take for granted most of the time although they have huge ranges of motion that we just never use so that's why we lose. And I have a story so that it's not only easy to understand but it's also fun. Let's see some teas. I grow and forage and dry my own teas. Even if you go into a health food store you see that there's lots of different herbs, spices, teas and they all seem to have different benefits. I have super bad hay fever and when I drink nettle tea I don't have any symptoms whatsoever so I definitely make sure that I drink it when there's a lot of pollen in the air. This is lovage and when it's that time of the month I don't just turn into a grumpy evil dragon with horrible mood swings but I also have cravings and I can eat half a supermarket but if I drink lovage tea I'm like a normal person but I have the right thing even when someone has a bad cough or their skin is dry or a good toothache or when someone needs to boost their immunity because they keep falling ill all the time and this is why I like the different hula hoop tricks and moves as well because they feel like a pharmacy like a toolkit for someone who likes to fix bodies some tricks and moves bring your attention to your muscles in the front while others focus on the muscles in the back. Get them stronger or faster or more flexible. Some moves we only do on one side at a time, these are unilateral moves. That can help us break down tension that we store from lack of use or maybe from experiencing pain or discomfort. And sure enough, we repeat these moves on the other side to make sure that we are well balanced. These moves just help us discover if we had any imbalances in the first place. Some moves help us improve our endurance, boost our cardiovascular fitness, at the same time they help us work on our imbalances. The angle of the hoop is almost like sign so that we can read what is going on in the body. We also can boost circulation in areas where we lack. It feels like a delicious massage that you crave after a long day sitting and working at a desk. Of course we start with the basics but later on we can fancy even this up, introduce angles, add leg and arm moves to it. Some moves help us improve our balancing skills and those are absolutely amazing if you're interested in sculpting your peachy bottom. And of course they are great for lower abs and core muscles. Different moves improve your active and passive flexibility, they improve your range of motion. Some encourage lymph flow. In my family we have a history of varicose veins and deep vein thrombosis. We are supposed to keep our legs elevated. Well, I'm not going to be having my leg up all day, but I can include it in my workout. Do you include any inversions in your workouts? Of course, this is not how I started, but there's many ways to start. Many different fun tricks to strengthen your core, your glutes, your shoulders. What part of you you want stronger and more powerful? I want everything strong. Some hula hoop moves help us to be more aware of our pelvic floor muscles and how to use them. Some hula hoop moves are excellent at activating glutes, like the different balancing moves, a lot of fun tricks that almost divert your attention from your lack of glute strength and your bad balance because you're just playing with a hula hoop. Many hoop moves will work on your posterior chain, all of the muscles that are in your rear side which will help you to have better posture so that you're not compressing all of your organs and everything all day. And even during the day when you have to sit, you will be holding yourself straighter 
giving more space to your organs. Hooping makes upper body workouts fun as well because many people don't do press-ups or planks and that sort of jazz but they do use their own legs because they have to get to places so they walk or maybe even run or use an exercise bike in the gym but the upper body sometimes gets neglected quite a bit. With a hula hoop there's just so many fun things that you can do to strengthen your upper body and it will not be boring like a plank, you won't be staring at the floor, you will be just having fun. Hooping can help you break down a lot of tension, it's almost like foam rolling but you're working out at the same time. You will always have instant feedback because if you're not doing it right that hula hoop is not going to do the trick for you because they can't unless you do it correctly. I think that's another benefit of hula hooping because your hoop will make you keep trying until you get it absolutely perfect. The different hula hoop tricks will actually help you realize that fitness is not just how fast you can run, how far you can run or how heavy you can lift. There's elements of fitness that we don't normally work on although they are actually super useful like balance, like range of motion, like not wetting yourself when you sneeze or cough. If you had a baby you know exactly what I'm talking about and this is an element of fitness too. Motor skills, spatial awareness, hand-eye coordination and when you're working out in a gym on those machines you miss out on quite a lot of these elements of fitness and when you just want to do waist hula hooping only you're missing out too. The different hula hoop moves and tricks make it possible for the absolute newbies who are completely unfit and beginners to get started. While there are other moves that are more intense with huge variety, so this can get even the super fit fitter drenched and absolutely satisfied. Imagine the clinic environment where I just walk into the treatment room and I want to use all that I've learned about the human body and people start coming in. Different kinds of people with different kinds of problems. I borrowed these from my daughter but I promise I put them back. Even my lecturer warned me that there will be two breeds of people. There will be the ones that do not want to do anything and there will be the ones that don't want to stop doing stuff. The ones that don't want to exercise, it's not because they are lazy, probably they work like 10 hours at a desk and they are just drained and exhausted. At the end of the day, they don't want to do anything. They just go land on the couch, watch Netflix, get a takeaway and even for recreation and entertainment for the weekends, they go to the cinema and have cake with their friends. Maybe go for a spa day. No matter what you tell this breed, it's not going to get sweaty, it's not going to push itself, it won't even do the exercises that you prescribe, even though their bodies are falling apart because of lack of use. Because what you don't use, you lose. I'm sure you heard that before, it applies to brains as well as muscles. Anyways, before anyone gets offended or accuses me with body shaming, I know what this feels like. I know that these are not lazy people, these people have no energy. I was one of these people. I was going to lectures, I was working a sedentary job, I was commuting to London to university, I was just sitting forever and I could not imagine myself jumping around after doing all the things that I was doing. I wasn't lazy, no, I didn't stop all day, but I didn't fancy exercise. So I know what it feels like, I don't want to make anybody feel bad and I'm not trying to be offensive because I've been here, I know what this feels like. And there's this other breed and this one never stops, it keeps doing stuff all the time and even if you tell this one to chill, to rest because it's suffering an overuse injury, it will still carry on doing it. Because there are some people who start exercising for whatever reason, some people just want to look absolutely smoking hot, some people get freaked out because the doctor said that they are going to get a heart attack or develop diabetes, whatever, and they start exercising but they start doing it and that increases their energy levels because if you look into any physiology book you will see that when you start exercising you actually will start having more energy. When you first start it's horrible, it feels like you're going to die and spit your lungs out but then your body produces more energy because of structures that are in your cells, these little organelles called mitochondria and you will just have so much energy you will be bouncing off the wall so then you just keep exercising all the time. 
When this breed discovers running and falls madly in love with it, I'm sure after a while, because it's a repetitive movement, this person will develop runner's knee. Or he falls in love with tennis and because he just keeps doing that all the time, he will have tennis albi. Or she will be obsessed about yoga and she keeps stretching till the cows go home and that will make her feel amazing until she develops something called yoga butt and she will feel like it's the universe that's the enemy. Why does she have to have this now when she found something that she loves so much? So although I thought I'm so knowledgeable and I can help everybody, I realized that I cannot help anyone. And then I bumped into hula hooping and got super excited. I felt like I've been given my superpowers back. What magic is this? Because even those who just want to spend the rest of their lives on the couch, it will not take huge amounts of effort. They just have to stand up and start spinning a hula hoop around their waist. Even that is a huge milestone and it will help with their posture. It will help with all the organs that they compress all day. Suddenly they will have circulation again and digestion and their lungs will have some space because to keep up a hula hoop you have to be straight. That will make your muscles stronger that hold you upright. It will start activating their glutes. Ever heard of glute amnesia? I would look into that. It's a huge problem these days and many people have it because many of us just sit all day for work. Not because we are lazy, but our butt cheeks are asleep. Glute activation is a huge thing these days and I'm going to get their glutes turned back on with hula hooping even if all they want is just stand in one place. And they will love me because they will feel so much better so I can fix them. So the easier moves and waist hula hooping is an amazing way to get started in a super gentle way. So even if someone carries a bit of extra weight, they're not going to have to be bouncing on their joints. And remember this breed that doesn't want to stop? Well, good news, you don't have to stop, but I can give you exercises that actually have a huge range of variety because if you keep doing the same, of course, you're going to be wearing out the same joints at the same angle forever. Unfortunately, that exposes this breed to super high risks of developing repetitive strain injury. But with a hula hoop, there's hundreds and hundreds of tricks and moves that they can do. So they will be satisfied because they can get drenched. They will keep fit, like super fit, fit like they've never been. And they will love me too. They don't have to stop exercising. They can carry on like a beast. Why bother making it so difficult and complicated with all these many tricks? I already said that waist hula hooping will help your glutes to activate and will help with posture and boost your circulation. But waist hula hooping is a bit like running. You just keep overusing the same area over and over and over again. And why would you do that anyway when you have so many joints in your body that you can stimulate? And this super exciting range of motion we just don't ever use. So of course we lose it. Many people say that they are not flexible because they are getting old. Well, it's not just age that makes your joints seize up. It's also lack of activity because your body is going to safely hold on to that joint. You do not have the strength or the skill to use it, so it just locks it up for you. And that's how over the years and decades, people, as they get older, lose their mobility, their range of motion reduces. The good news is you don't have to start with the crazy acrobatics first time you try a hula hoop, but you can start with the absolute basics. That's how we all start. So don't worry. First, it's enough if you can keep your hula hoop spinning around your waist. Then super gradually with baby steps, you just get a little bit fitter, a bit more coordinated. Start learning how to use your different body parts. You get them stronger and a bit more flexible, a bit more powerful. On my website, I organized the tricks and I have all the follow along complete tutorials and workouts. Of course, if you don't want to do any of my courses, you can always look around on the internet and create your own programs and plans. Try and stimulate each body part as much as you possibly can increasing their range of motion, stimulating them. Each time you can start thinking, have I included upper body? Have I included core, lower body? Did I do anything for flexibility or strength or power? Have I done anything for my shoulder mobility? Have I done anything to make better friends with my pelvic girdle? 
The moment you start asking these questions is the moment you get excited about all the different tricks that you can do with your hula hoop. Gorgeous! You've been given a full body. Please work out that full body and give each and every single part of it a lot of love and attention. Try not to just keep repeatedly abusing the same parts. Every single body part of you can make very good friends with you and reward you for all the hard work and love and attention. And if you're interested, I have a first workout experience what I would do if I was a beginner.